Hi right, guys, your least favorite duelist here back again. I hopefully... I'm not gonna redo this video for the third time, but hopefully you guys saw my last video on sub terrors with my mishmash of like invoked and other garbage like crawler and world legacy i also spoke on the coronavirus a little bit i'll kind of reiterate like why i've been gone for a little while like i work in grocery and as you know probably all over the news people are being crazy people just buying everything up and it's been insane so there you go the grocery thing has been business has been in pretty wild where I'm working at right now and I really haven't had time to do any videos and when I get home I'm putting in like these 14 hour days like whew, I'm, I just want to sleep and and spend time with my family but anyways let's get into the the video I'll just mention again that I'm going to be live streaming I got it set up finally for my twitch if you want to add me or whatever already my um name on twitch is smudges lol so that's s-m-u-d-g-e-s-l-o-l -E that's my twitch handle and let's get into the deck so we're gonna be playing six samurai oh my god you know like you guys are probably gonna be salty you know like six samurai one of those cancerous decks that everyone hates but don't worry this one is still cancer um so this one here is more budget friendly you know i only have one keys on so um, but what helps is that you don't need all these keys on to make this deck work. Essentially what we're going to be abusing is, um, we're going to be abusing Mizuho and Shinii. And you're going to see that we got Hex Sealed Fusion in here, which is crazy, right? And we use our Hex Sealed Fusion to make Dark Cavalry and Red Eye Slash Dragon with all of our monsters. We got two Psychic Wielders. To make our two synchro monsters in Archfiend's Call and Stardust Charge Warrior. The reason why we're playing Stardust Charge Warrior is um, specifically for like Ubel. So um, when you use this with this, you can make Ubel miss timing. Um, maybe I'll make a video on missing timing and stuff. I, I've been kind of wanting to do like a little side bit as well as my tech talk on some of the rules of Yu-Gi-Oh! and why things are the way that they are because you do need like a manual to play this game but anyways let's get into the deck list so we have keys on special summons when you have another six samurai in the field we got psychic wielder you can special summon him when you have a level three and when you synchro into him um you can blow up a monster that has less attack than your synchro monster three hex sealed fusions you contribute um another monster in this one to make a dark fusion we're playing to Mizuho so what this does is it special summons if you have this guy out there so they work together so this one special summons if you have the red one and red can special summon if you have the blue one you contribute a six samurai blow up any card three fumas um if it's destroyed you can special summon a six samurai besides this one um we are running two legendary uh six samurai so he's similar to kizan he's like the budget friendly one so when you uh, normal or special a six samurai monster you can special summon him i don't think it works for a uh, fuma right uh i guess it does oh yeah it does work for fuma so there's that uh we're running three of these dudes so what he does is when you um when he's tributed you can add a six samurai from your graveyard to your hand this is our draw spell this is our special summon spell we're playing Kanadia, Floodgate, Dual Wield. So Dual Wield, if you have a six samurai on the field in face-up attack position by itself, you can send two cards back to the hand. Our extra deck has Dark Cavalry, Red Eye Slash, Xi'an, Negate, one spell trap per turn. Our Mates, Archfiend's Call cannot be targeted, and Stardust Charge. And we're just playing Tie That Binds. Very simple, effective deck. I like it because it's kind of budget. It's pretty budget friendly. Like a lot of those, even like the synchros that we're using are like kind of cheapy. You don't really need to run our mates. You could probably run another uh, Shein if you have it. Um, a lot of those other cards that I have are like easy to get box stuff. And so, yeah, it's pretty cool. 
Let's see if we're going to be playing against something annoying. Okay. So, we open up pretty disgusting. As always with Six Samurai, because it's Six Samurai, you know? So, we'll just do our usual Six Samurai play, which is make Xi'an and win. So, we're going to draw two cards. Nothing good there. We do have the Hex Seal to make something, which is pretty good. Alright. And then we're going to go into Xi'an. There we go. Make our Xi'an. And that's it. Game over. The other ability that Xi'an has, besides negating a Spiller Trap once per turn, is that um, if he's destroyed, you can blow up a uh, different Six Samurai that you have instead. Okay, so we're playing against Red Eyes. So we're not going to blow that here. We're going to save it for the Red Eyes. So let's see. Hmm. So one of the things that... Uh, Oh, man, I wish it said negate the effect. So this says negate the activation. So activation and effect in Yu-Gi-Oh! are very different, which is pretty obnoxious. Okay. So obviously he can't really do much here. But we're going to make a Dark Cavalry. Or... Uh, we can make Dark Cavalry here. So what we're going to do is we're going to special out our Mizuho. And we're going to just, we're going to blow out one back row card. So let's do that. So we're going to tribute this guy here. We're going to blow up, uh, we'll blow up this side one because sometimes they keep their side ones. Usually a lot of times when I play, um, people always hit middle, so I tend to put my, my good spelling traps that I want to keep on the side. But, um, we'll see. And then we can just negate the other one. So we'll make Dark Cavalry here to pierce those nuts. There we go. Alright. And then we can special keys on. And that's game, pretty much. It's an, essentially, it's game. So we're going to pierce the Dark Cavalry. We'll negate the back row with our Xi'an. There you go. She and the nuts. Boom. And that's Six Samurai Fusion Synchro. Okay, we'll do a couple more duels here. Let's see if we can rank up again on, on the stream. Or on the live, the live feed. Alright. And then maybe we'll open up that rare card. I don't know. Got a rare card I can open up. Ugh. This deck is super funny because it looks, I mean, for the most part, it's a six samurai deck, but the fact that you can make like a red eye slash or a uh, dark cavalry is pretty disgusting because dark cavalry is a boss monster. You pretty much got like four boss monsters in here. Disgusting. I would like, what would I like to draw here? Maybe like a, uh, hmm. I'm not really sure what I would like to draw. I guess like a Kizan would be pretty good because that would like open up an OTK potentially. <laughs> Let's see how many cards he sets. Okay, not too bad. That works too. So we'll just normal some of this. And we have a bunch of other stuff we can do. So we'll special him. And then we'll probably make a uh, Archfiend. So we'll... Let's blow up a card first. Let's see what happens. And then let's hit middle. Middle seems good to me. All right. And then we'll special summon this. So 
So I'm guessing that's a maybe a uh, enemy controller. We'll see what happens here when it's, if nothing happens. It's not an enemy controller. I'm guessing it's probably like a continuous trap or a. Uh, hmm. It has to be like a continuous trap because you can't target this guy. There we go. One of the other things I was running too was I was running a Millennium Eyes Restrict, which is hilarious also. But it it never really came up. It like helped out one time. So there you go. Okay. I hate seeing two hex shields. So we're just gonna go in. I don't really want to set anything. That one to the left has to do something. Yuck. Okay. Now I'm guessing this other card here is... This one in the middle is probably another Rainbow Life. It has to be, because why would it trigger like this? So, another tip here, if you see at the, there you go, I was going to say, if you see at the top here, when his little clock is spinning, and you can't do, and it pauses for a bit, it means that, like, they have a play, if you're newer to Yu-Gi-Oh. That's something that was really helpful to me, when I started learning how to play. Okay, I think we're going to set our hex sealed, unless we grab something crazy. Uh, we'll set our Sheans. We'll set this. Nothing's activating right now. So we'll see what happens on the attack right here. Nothing. Okay. So it's probably... Um, it's not a Rainbow Life. It's not a... I don't know. I don't know what it could be. Let's get a Warrior. Man. I mean, if we draw a, a 6 Sam, we're going to be in some business here. Is it another monster? Okay. Maybe we're playing against Burn. It's starting to look just like plain old Burn or, or something like that. Let's see if we get Lava Golem. But any warrior type here would be pretty nice. That way we can make a Dark Cavalry. All right, sure. Nothing good still. I just want to leave that spot open for a warrior. Okay. Does this target negate the attack? Okay, so it doesn't target. So we're just going to keep on plugging away, drawing bad. We play a lot of warriors in here and we still haven't drawn one. Oh, yuck. He's going to burn us right now. For 1400. Yeah, owie. This card's kind of funny because uh, you can really do some mean stuff with it. So what this does is uh, if you're getting attacked and your mo your opponent's monster has more attack than your life points, you use special summon it and when it's destroyed you burn him for some damage, you know? All right, so let's activate our crap. There we go. Okay. Sure. Dark Cavalry might be big enough to pierce these nuts right here. But we'll see. I think we have the nut piercing power.
There we go. Thick. Thick, thick, thick. Do we want to draw another card? Eh, let's get greedy. We don't need to draw another card. We don't even need to use Tie That Binds. Thirty-four, so thirty-four defense, not big enough. And we can get it anyways. So we'll just get rid of that floodgate. There we go. Winning on a budget. This. What's going to be funny, too, is after, like, the coronavirus stuff. I mean, it's already been happening, but people are making, like, a lot of jokes about it. And once every, it's kind of like the coast is clear, the world kind of goes back to normal and to, like, not washing their hands and bare-assing the toilet seats again. Um, there's going to be a lot of coronavirus jokes. I imagine a lot of rappers, too, are going to make, you know, make raps about the virus. And they're going to be something like... My name is Cyrus. I kill people like coronavirus. I don't know. So what can... Hopefully we're not playing against... Oh, okay. And here comes... Here comes the troll! Ah, okay. Um, what can we do here? Not a damn thing. Hmm. <laughs> oh my god all right let's just play it out and see what happens i don't think i have an out well actually no i have canadia i have canadia so if we can draw the canadia then we can do something but i think we're just gonna get okay Hmm. Yeah, we're, we're pretty toast here. Jeez. What a... <laughs> oh my god. That deck is so funny when it, like, when you randomly get hit by it. It's so funny. Oh my goodness. The Cyberstein deck. That's something I haven't really tried either i want to try that i had some ideas with it so there is a two there's an idea i had with cyberstein where you make like a psychic deck okay and um you use dna surgery you make cyberstein a psychic type with dna surgery and then there's also a you can put on like a little hat on your uh, cyberstein um there's like a an equip spell that allows you to um Damn it, why were you one card, one card short? Whatever. Um, so what your Cyberstein, so you'll have your Cyberstein as a psychic type. You equip it with this equip spell that makes it, uh, so your psychic monster, um, it's like life point cost abilities are zero. And then you just start being annoying. Okay. What does that do? Um, when this card is normal summon, uh, you can discard this card by turning one effect monster you control. Special summon blue eyes. Hmm. Okay. So hopefully he hits that one all the way to the side, I would think. Oh, man. <sighs> Let's see if he has blue eyes in the hand. He does. That's unfortunate. I, I would say the only thing that I really, really want with this deck is another dual wield. But I do not own more than one dual wield. Ugh. 
this could be painful. The best thing here for us would be Fuma, I guess. But even then, it's not really going to save us, you know? All right. Yep, that's, that's GG right there. It's all right. Can't win them all. So we lost to, like, the ultimate troll deck and then to a regular blue eyes. Let's do one more before we get out of here. But anyways, um, what I was saying, yeah, like, once the kind of spread goes down and, er, like, life goes back to normal, people are going to be back to being gross. And I think that's kind of one of the reasons why the outbreak is the way it is is because people just, like, a lot of people out there don't really take care of themselves that well, you know? Like, you're supposed to wash your hands and stuff and and do all that good stuff, you know? Like, you're supposed to do that. Ugh. You know, you're not supposed to cough on everything. Like, you're supposed to cover your, cover your mouth when you cough. And you're supposed... It, it's just weird. We got a pretty nice play next turn. Depending on... Oh, my Dolce. Okay. I haven't seen my Dolce in a really long time. So he's going to special... Yep, that one. Get the field spell or the continuous spell. Probably the field spot, I would think. Yeah, because it makes his monsters big. Er. Jeez. I mean, we still have a play no matter what. Let's see. So. Bring out this guy. Now we're too big. So we can go into Dark Cavalry here. Or we can make our uh, whatchamacallit. Let's see what happens here. I think they run Cosmic Cyclone in here. I kind of want to say Dark Cavalry or Red Eye Slash is going to be a better pick. Um, we can do... Well, Red Eye Slash, we can negate and be a little bit bigger, I guess. Hmm. So let's go into... I'm not really sure what we want to use here. I'm guessing Red Eye... Let's do Red Eye Slash. I feel like it's kind of a little bit better. Because we have a little bit of floating ability. And we can attach our Fuma to it. Is he playing Medulce Waltz as well? So we're going to hit Hoot Cake. We're going to attach our Fuma. Because I'm kind of scared of Walla D also. Okay. So that's what was bothering us in the background. But the thing is, is he didn't pop it in time. He's kind of late. Okay. Sure. We're still going to equip. Um, what does it say? Okay, so he just wants to bring out another spell, I guess. I guess. Whatever. Sure. Now, the thing with that is that it targets, right? Yeah, you can target. So it's going to die. I don't know why he would do that. So it was a, kind of a good pick that we did Red Eye Slash. Unless he has something to uh, take our Red Eye Slash with, I guess. Like another Econ. 
So you can add it to hand. Sure. Hmm. Medolches are going to be insane when XC summoning comes out if they, they add it. Which I probably think they will because it's kind of like one of those beloved decks. So. Alright. Now it's time to get down to business. So we got our dojo. So what we're going to do here is we're going to Mizuho. And we're going to start eliminating some of this back row. So we will bring out another Fuma. If he lets me. There we go. And then we'll hit middle. Because all this back row shenanigans going off right now is freaking me out, man. So we'll get rid of that. We'll blow up this middle one. Okay, that's a good hit. We'll activate this. We have keys on, so we'll special some this one. We're gonna go into our archfiend, so we just don't get targeted. Get rid of this hoot cake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go back to your hand. So the way that um, his uh, deck is playing out is there's no. Uh, it's not a. It's not a drowning that's back there. I, I don't know what it is exactly, but it keeps triggering. So we'll add a Fuma, just in case we can go into Shien at some point. He needs... Okay. <laughs> what was that trap card? Let's, let's take a look at his deck and kind of figure out what it was. Because he it wasn't a drowning. That would be like another enemy controller or another... Uh, I don't know. Couldn't it be trap hole? That would be like a continuous trap. I was thinking maybe he plays Medolce Waltz. Uh, let's see. So it could have been either Canadia or... Cosmic Cyclone, I guess. Whatever. People are gonna steal this deck for sure because just look at look at how budget friendly this thing is. Let's see. It is pretty weak to, against Dark Magician though, especially if they're on their first turn. Like if they play it out right, like you're just gonna probably lose. But I mean, what isn't losing against Dark Magician? And one of the things like I watched DK one day. And he had said, like, instead of making a deck that count tries to, like, counter everything, make a deck that's just good and can stomp most decks and just has a really weak counter. So I would say that this deck is pretty weak against Dark Magician. It can it could do some work against Shirinui as well. So there you are. There's a deck. Ta-da. So I hope you guys had a... Great day. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces. And, oh, and the live stream. Smudgeslol.com. I'm going to make sure I put that down in the description below. Live stream. And I'll try to announce it when I do it. But until then, deuces.